Well, I just saw um, Lion Essence's second victory video, and it reminded me that I never updated on the plants. So I, I watched the rest of that reading, which is also very good. Um, I think I reposted it as well, if you wanted to watch. But then I wanted to go back through the plants. We've got Tatsui Mustard, which is doing fucking awesome. The cilantro, it looks like we had one little shoot come up, but it's growing moss. So I think I might just let it grow moss. And if, if cilantro comes up, then cool. And the dill here, we actually had all of the other shoots die. They reprioritized into one single shoot that is now like aiming up more closely to the light. And um, it's actually starting to flower there, which is pretty cool. We've got another rosemary, or that might be dill too, actually. Um, and that one's actually using the leaves to prop up the stem so that it can photosynthesize using the small, the small um, bud there. Then this arugula ended up doing the same thing. We got a little arugula bud back behind the sign there. But honestly, I'm really happy that they're starting to grow moss because I really fucking want moss on, um, on my bonsai plants. And these two are doing awesome. Even though they're further away from the light, they're actually really um, ahead of the others. Then we've got these bad boys down here. Pretty much the same stuff. That cilantro is doing splendid right there. This is going to be mint, but it needs a little bit more time. We do have our first mint shoots coming up here. I had to help this little guy break out of his seed cap today. But he's actually, he's doing really well. Then we've got a little a little bud right there that looks like thyme actually, but it, I think it's supposed to be mint. And then those back three are the arugulas. And this is our little rose buddy. He's, he's hanging, she's hanging in there, you know, doing okay. Um, I ended up redoing the kiwi seeds today so that they didn't mold. I took them out and I, I let them air out and I put them in a new paper towel. So that's pretty cool. And then this, uh, this cilantro just budded. The thyme looks like it's still trying, but it's been really sensitive. The chive actually looks like he's bouncing back. He's doing okay. So I'm hoping that he develops some soil roots because he only had water roots before. Then the twin flame tree has its new leaves. They're not standing up yet, but it's actually growing. It's growing a new bud from the stem here which means that it does not have, you know how like I said that I thought one was for the Twin Flame and then one was for the King of Cups? There is a third shoot now. And I'm assuming that's fucking like King of Swords maybe. But look at that shit. We've got three buds there and then it's actually growing more down at the base of the main tree here. My cat tried to eat this leaf but all of the other leaves are looking beautiful. And it doesn't want to shed this one off yet, so I'm going to let it keep it. Then the holly is actually doing really good too. It um, decided to branch out here. So it's creating a third shoot there. And then it's coming out two directions here. So the front of the tree will probably be like this. But, you know, we've got some time before we have to decide on orientation and all that. <sighs> but yeah. And, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I started taking my multivitamins again, which is always cute. That was really the whole point of this, though. I wasn't going to do another reading. Should I? Oh, no, my, my uh, clip fell off. I was going to go back to playing video games. But who knows? Maybe I won't. Ruga. I had the weirdest, like, skin problems today. But, like, it's starting to clear up. I don't know. I think there was something about... Like, when I got to Georgia, my skin went through this really massive shift. And, um, it took probably close to a year before it cleared up. And, uh, Then, as soon as I moved back here, my skin went through another shift. It's like the air pollution or something changed it. So I've been breaking out, but it's it's getting better. Are we doing a reading spirit? Ten of Swords. No. What are we doing then? Eight of Cups. Walking away. I guess we're cutting it off here. Do you want a song spirit? 
Ten of Cups, the Devil, and the Three of Wands. That's needing a new idea. You want us to elaborate on something? Elaborate on somebody, somebody watching that wants to work with us, help us perfect a craft, pursue a new idea, overcome devil tendencies. Why are we using this deck? Seven of Pentacles. We're not supposed to be doing a reading. I'm just curious. Wheel of Fortune. All right. Divine Feminine. Five of Wands and the Star, Nine of Pentacles. Hippo. Six of Swords, the Twin Hollies, the Bamboo Grove, and the Four of Pentacles. Holding on to our stability, our sense of safety in our path going forward involving family. Um, it may be that there's a misunderstanding in a family dynamic. Accurate. The moon, a secret. The wheel of fortune and the six of wands. Whatever this is, I think the reason that we weren't supposed to read about it is because we're not supposed to know. So I'm gonna pack up my cards. Last question. Do you want us to cut off the video now? Strength. I'm not going to ask any other questions. Thanks for watching, guys.